Thank you so much, uh, President Grimson. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It's really my pleasure to be here with you uh, today in Iceland, and I would like to express our gratitude to President Grimson for his commitments and bringing the, the Arctic Circle into the global discussion. The United Arab Emirates clean energy story has been a short one, but our sustainability legacy has been with us since our foundation. Throughout the remarkable story of our country, which has risen to a fully fledged 21st century economy in a single lifetime, we have always been guided by the vision of our founding father, the late Sheikh Zayed, who instilled in us the importance of preserving our environment for future generations. It was in 2009 that this legacy became part of a much more global effort. And that year, we decided to offer the UAE as the host country of a newly created International Renewable Energy Agency, or what we, what we now call it IRENA. We believed then that we still believe now that bringing IRENA, our part of the world, would have a transformative impact on clean energy cooperation and our sustainability vision. And now, as we approach the UAE's 50th year Golden Jubilee, we are extremely proud that our founding father's vision still guided our people, our leaders, and our co cooperations with the countries abroad. The UAE sets the region's first renewable energy targets, which have now been increased to an ambitious 27% by 2021 and 44 by 2050. Since then, the country's deployments of renewable energy had, has had a significant normalization effect for the technology. We have broken the record for solar energy three times. First, in September 2016, with a record of 2.42 cents per kilowatt hour for a PV plant in Abu Dhabi. Second, in September 2017, with a record of 7.3 cents per kilowatt hour for 700 megawatt CSP plant in Dubai. And while the third one record comes from our brothers in Saudi Arabia, it was with Mustar, a proudly UAE company, which placed the groundbreaking bid of 1.79 cents kilowatt for kilowatt hour for 300 megawatt PV solar plant. Renewable energy is now one of the cheapest sources of power in Gulf, among its oil, LNG, and nuclear options. Our achievements have been thanks to our massive incentive investments in education, innovation, and public awareness. The Mustang Institute, for example, is the foremost producer of clean technology and intellectual property in the region. We have also reformed school curriculums to improve science training, including around climate change. Outside of academia, the UAE government entities have launched wide-reaching awareness campaign to encourage energy and water efficiency and to instill the importance of conversations and encourage the sustainable use of our precious resources. The UAE is also deploying renewable energy projects overseas and making significant foreign aid contribution to encourage clean energy deployments in developing countries. And since 2013, we have pledged almost $1 billion in renewable energy aid to fellow developing countries, most recently with our $50 million in Caribbean fund, which seeks to, pro to provide climate resilience and clean energy to community in need. And it's not just renewable energy. We are encouraging innovation, research, and private sector participation in other industries, such as food and ocean resources management. For instance, we are investing in the states of, of art, Sheikh Khalifa Marine Research Center, which will be operated through public-private partnership and will include a commercial hatchery to support the rapidly de development aquaculture sector in the UAE. And of course, we are proud to host the Zayed Future Energy Prize, $4 million annual award that recognizes and rewards investors and, and innovators in the fields of renewable energy and sustainability. In nine years, the prize has posit positively transformed the lives of over 289 million people by displacing carbon emission, generating clean electricity, unlocking energy access, and helping women and young people into green employment. Ladies and gentlemen, we are optimistic about the future, and ultimately, this will require change and open minds to trying new things, forming new habits, and hopefully creating new traditions that will build a sustainable 
more happy and healthy future generation. I'm looking forward to the discussion today and to engaging with you all. Thank you so much.